Hello, Charles students. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the national grid, and this fits in with your core physics uh, exam. Um, and I'm going to show you a model of the national grid. Now, we need to understand how electricity is distributed around the UK, and this model will enable you to see the different parts and why they are as they are. So in the model of the national grid, we need something to represent the power station. Now in this model, the power station is represented by a power pack. So this power pack is giving us some electricity and that represents what the, what the power station does. Um, the, the electricity is distributed around the country along cables which the electricity, the electric current passes down. And you will have seen these cables uh, passing across the countryside, being held up by pylons, which are the big metal poles which hold the electrical cables. So the electricity is generated in the power station. It is transported around the country through the cables. And at the other end, it goes to our homes, our offices, our schools, our factories, and so on. So this light bulb represents your house. This is your house. Okay. So we're going to see what happens to the electricity as it's distributed around the country. I'm going to switch on the power pack. That means the power station is now working. So I've switched on the power pack. This bulb shows us that the power station is working. This voltmeter shows us that a certain amount of volts are being produced. Oh dear. Unfortunately, the amount of electricity at your house does not seem to be very much. This beautiful bright light bulb here is showing us we've got two, over two volts of electricity, but here at the other end, we have only got a very dim light bulb and only one volt of electricity. Something has gone wrong. If this was uh, how our electricity was distributed around the country, we wouldn't be able to light our homes, we wouldn't have enough voltage in our homes in order to, to light up uh, or use all the electrical appliances that we do want to use. So. What the national grid does is something a little bit different. We have to do something different in order to make sure that this doesn't happen. Before we think about that, let's think about why this happens. We have got less energy at this end than we had at this end. So where has that energy gone? That energy has gone as waste energy in the wires. As the electrical current passes down the wires, they heat up. And the electrical current heating up the wires means that some of that energy is transferred into heat energy, which cannot then be used as electrical energy. It has been dissipated into the air. The air will have heated up slightly. We can't get that energy back. So that's why we've lost some energy at this end. We need to do something to try and reduce the amount of energy that's lost as heat. And in order to do that, we need to reduce the current. It's the electrical current that means that the wires heat up. The higher the current, the more energy is lost. So we need to reduce the current without losing any power from the power station. The way we do that is to include this device, one at each end. I'm going to switch off the power pack. I'm going to plug in this device, and then we're going to switch it on again and see what happens. This device is called a transformer. And the job of a transformer is to change the voltage of the supply. So I've plugged in a transformer at one end. I'm plugging in a transformer at the other end. And we'll see if we've made any difference. So I'm going back to switch on my power pack again. And this time, goodness gracious me, we've got a light light bulb at both ends. The energy has not been lost to at all the same extent this time. We've got 1.8 volts at this side, we've got 1.7 almost volts at this side, so we've lost a lot less energy. What has happened? How have we managed to do that? We've included a transformer at this end and a transformer at this end. If we now look at the voltage in the center across the wires, we've got 22 volts. This transformer has increased the voltage from nearly 2 volts to 22 volts in the wires and this transformer has reduced it back down at the other end. How does that transformer work? The transformer does the job of, job of changing the voltage. If the voltage is higher, then the current will be lower in order to keep the power the same. So a high 
voltage means a low current in the wires. So the transformer has changed the voltage, it's made it high voltage, which means that the current is much less. That means that much less energy is lost as heat, which means by the time we get back to transforming the voltage again at this end, we've got more energy, more electricity, so the voltage at this end is higher. We haven't lost as much energy. The transformer, workings of the transformer you don't need to know in order to explain it in your exam, but you do need to be able to explain the fact that the current being high means you lose a lot of energy as heat, the current being low because you've got a high voltage means that you lose less energy as heat. You need to be able to describe the parts of the national grid, the power station, the transformer, the cables, the pylons and the fact that we have another transformer at the other end. The transformer at the end near the power station is called a step up transformer because it makes the voltage higher. The transformer at the other end, no surprises here, is called a step down transformer because it makes the voltage lower. Why do we bother making the voltage lower again at this end? Because a very high voltage in the cables is much too high, much too unsafe to have uh, in our homes. We reduce it back down to the standard voltage for our homes, which is 230 volts in the real national grid, uh, so that it is much safer. In the real grid as well, the, the voltage in these cables is as high as 400,000 volts, the ones that are carrying the electricity across the country. So very high voltage, very dangerous. So that's why we need the step-down transformer at the other end. That's it.